If you want to invest in property, I believe that there's 10 key skills you should really try to master. And skill number eight is to put systems in place and outsource wherever possible. But what kind of property systems do you really need? Hi, my name is Tony Law from Your First Four Houses, and I teach people how to build a small property portfolio that generates a great income for them, so they can give up the day job if they wish, because they're now financially free. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on any of the free content that I give you each and every week. So when you first start out in property, there are a million things that you need to do, a million things that you need to consider, and you're probably holding up a day job as well, and you're pulled in every single direction. But for you to build a portfolio that generates a good income for you, there are certain tasks that you simply have to do, and you have to do them well, and you have to do them consistently. Systemizing and outsourcing is the key and it can massively speed up how quickly you become financially free. But what sort of tasks in a property business can really be systemized? Well, sourcing motivated sellers, finding land deals, social media, referencing, inventory, checking tenants in and checking them out again, finding investors, cleaning checklists, household chores, bookkeeping, managing emails, writing to landlords, chasing estate agents, calendarizing events, etc, etc, etc. Now I'm not saying you have to systemize all of these, but you could certainly systemize some. And I'd have to say I can think of loads more that you could systemize in your business. But it all has to start with a simple list of all the jobs that you do in your property business. So draw three columns and at the top write activity, then your name and outsource. Now over the next week or so I want you to list out every job you do in the activity column. A great idea here is to, is to kind of set off a timer to go off every half an hour during your working week. And when it goes off, you're going to write down what you're doing at that particular moment. Now in the next column, under your name, I want you to only put a tick where you feel that this is an activity that you simply must do and you need to be ruthless. Now I, I don't care if you enjoy building your own website or cleaning your own HMO. Are these really jobs that you should be doing? You need to value your time. And I know that there are more important things that you should be doing. And lastly, in the outsource column, pretty obviously, you're gonna tick everything else. These are the activities that you should be trying to outsource, if at all possible. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, I would love it if you could just quickly click on that like button down there. It really helps me if that's okay. Next, you need to document how to do a task. And I call these documents my operation manuals, which sounds really grand, but they're really not. In reality, they're just a list of tasks that you have to run through in order to do a certain job. So for example, when we, when we reference a tenant, we run through a 31 point checklist. And this is all laid out in our referencing operations manual. Now, did we get this right first time? No, of course we didn't. <laughs> it was all over the place. But over time, you kind of tweak it and you kind of tweak it until you do get it right. But you never seem to stop tweaking it. Ultimately, though, you have to start somewhere. By the way, if you're thinking about joining our online property masterclass, these checklists are all included in the program. The final part to all of this is the outsourcing or delegating bit. And if you're in any way entrepreneurial, this is probably the hardest bit for you, and it certainly was for me. So try starting small with a really simple task. For example, put a simple system together that you need to follow after you've been to a networking event. So imagine you've come back from the networking event and you've collected some business cards. Well, maybe step one of your system is to simply lay them all out on a desk and, and take a photograph. Step two might be to send these to your virtual, your virtual assistant, your VA. 
Step three, the VA then sends an email to the contact. Step four, they add them to your mailing list or your CRM and tag them accordingly. Step five, they add them to your Google contacts. Step six, they follow up with an email asking if they'd like to have a call with you. Step seven, they book the call. Step eight, they update your Google calendar accordingly. Step nine, they send the contact your newsletters on an ongoing basis, etc, etc, etc. And you document this whole process from start to finish. And don't forget though, you've only really got to do this, this documenting process the once. You've now got a simple system, fully documented, so that next time you go to a networking event, all you've actually really got to do is to take a photo of your business cards, isn't it? And maybe dictate a brief note after you've kind of walked away from that person. That's what I do in case you ever wonder, in case you ever see me at a networking event and I'm doing this. I'm making a quick dictated note of the person that I've just spoken to. Think about how much time you've just saved yourself. This is time that you can now get out there and start looking for that next deal. Alternatively, you could just stick them up on a pin board and say to yourself, I'll get back to them later. <laughs> now, as some of you may know, I have a love affair with Trello, which I consider to be one of the best productivity tools out there. And if you're not aware of what Trello is, watch this video and I sh it shows you exactly how I use Trello in my property business. But there are lots of other tools out there that you could use to document your system, including a Word document, a numbered Word document. In truth, that's really all you need. But if you have a specific tool that you use for documenting your systems, I would love it if you could share that in the comments section below because it would really help all of my subscribers. Introducing basic systems into your property business can dramatically speed up how quickly you become financially free. And in my online property masterclass, I share loads of different property-based systems. I even have an entire module entitled Getting Ready for Business. And so if you'd like to book a 10 minute phone call with me to find out a little bit more about this course and how it could help you, simply click on the link here to book a time slot.